each other with like a joke or, or a story. And I would hope with you guys, it's like if somebody does a page and then you show everybody, and you're like, wow, it's great. Hopefully your friend doesn't hate you for it, but he goes, God, I didn't find that. Yeah, yeah, right. And then that just produces this level of quality that gets better and better and better until you guys are making the absolute best comics that you possibly can. Yeah, I think that's different. Yeah. That's okay. yes. Imagine yeah. that times 13. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all teenagers. Uh, <laughs> oh, and all stuck in one room for 24 hours. So I mean, that's how we make it up. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so 15 people, that's hard to get 15 people to do anything, let alone make, make comments, stay in the room, stay awake. Stay <laughs> focus, yeah, yeah. keep drawing on huh? <laughs> it. That's, that's cool. It's called giving uh, coffee yeah, to teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> With like Shane and I too, it's like, it's cool. We People will ask us like, oh, well, you guys like I've created comics on my own, and Shane's created movies on his own and stuff. And, and people will sometimes ask, it's like, oh, are you guys are you know, working on something else? And it's like, if we work together, like this, we just joke, we did like two people do the job of one. <laughs> like, there's a lot of cartoons that are right and draw their own stuff. But we like to think that hopefully we're getting two minds, four fresh eyes, two sets of fresh eyes. We're getting some fresh asses. <laughs> and and hopefully, like, there's been times where Shane will be working on this story and call me up and we'll be talking about some stuff. And hopefully that solves some things. Sometimes I just listen and Shane will... Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're totally right. right. Yeah, but you have to set a word the entire time. Because it, right. it helped me just work it out. Like having somebody <laughs> to listen to me and if I, was, if I was just in a room or either of us and writing and drawing constantly and never getting any that feedback, uh, you never know what you're making. Garbage, you know. What, you throw 15 of you in the room, like, you, know, you should walk out with gold. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah. and hopefully that, um, you know, there'll be times I'll, I'll do a drawing, maybe I'm not liking it, and pass off to Shane. Maybe it gives them like, an idea for something, or vice versa. Like, um, you know, hopefully every stage, because we also have a colorist, you know, so every stage of the production, hopefully it's getting better and better. Um, maybe you guys find some of that too, where it's like, Maybe you can start out, it's like, I don't know about this, and then someone else kind of does their thing with the idea, or is drawing, and, and before you know it, it's like, you're getting this book that's like, you know what, I, I'm kind of liking this now, this is kind of working, and I'm kind of seeing, it's, it's, we always say, it's now like a thing, you know, it's now, <laughs> like, it's starting to feel real instead of just this intangible idea. message for the material that, that you're working on. Um, I know there's some goofy stuff like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And, you know, that, I mean, it has some violence, but they're just zombies. No one's really scared of zombies, right? Parody right? <laughs> died one. So, um, <laughs> I'm wondering, like, if you ever consider, like, being teachers with this stuff. It's just, like, one avenue of many that like, kind of, like, pops up in my mind. <laughs> Um, because, it, you know, leaving high school, I mean, you can really, like, give a, a positive message and support to you and so forth. And well, actually, um, a couple of our comics are actually, they were originally created to send a social message. For example, our first comic book, um, La Salva de America, was made to raise awareness of what's happening in Tijuana because we live in Chula Vista, and Chula Vista is right next to Tijuana. A lot of bad things happening. Well, there were bad things happening. Some still are, but it's not as big. Um, our second one was about high school dropouts, and we tried to send a message about sort of we interviewed dropout people that had dropped out of high school. Oh, I was just going to ask what the, you felt the difference was between making those and making mythologies and and uh, the denial, which totally I don't think had a preachy message to it whatsoever. A lot more free reign where you're just like um, when you're not trying to like I mean every comic I mean someone kind of wants to send a message and, um, but I mean there's a lot more free reign I mean you have to there's a lot you don't have to work around like you don't have to base it around that and it's just like that's kind of what separates I think that's a, another main factor that can separate like all ages comics and children's comics is just like I mean.
mean, you know, the show Dora, that's like, that's an educational show. I mean, and they're just bashing kids over the head with like educational stuff, and it's a kid's show. Um, but I mean, and you can tell it's a kid's show. Like, I mean, you're not going to see like, I mean, lots of adults watching it unless their kids are watching that. <laughs> like, I mean, well, kids are like weird. refusing. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the, making a comic though, just without setting out to have a message, I just think is a symbol in itself. Just, I mean, all the comics we've made, like, I mean, making denial, that was a symbol in itself for me. I mean, just like, we're in, we're this after school club and we were able to make this piece of art together. And that just in itself was a symbol. So I think too that like um, that last comic was sort of created around. Oh, stop! <laughs> yeah, I guess we're out of time. I, guess we're out of time. <laughs> I don't think about you, know, you saw that. You're like, I'm done. <laughs>